So if you want to play a movie in your classroom uh, and you want to make sure that that video is licensed and able to play that, we have uh, a system called Swank that we use to acquire the license to be able to play videos in the classroom or in schools. And so um, this could be a video on a DVD. Um, this could be a video that came, um, that you possibly purchased online. This is, um, could even be a video clip that is on YouTube um, from a video that you wanna be able to show in your class. So what I need to do is I need to verify first that that is in um, Swank. So I'm gonna start off by opening up Google in Safari. Um, now Swank will allow me to search for videos in Chrome or Safari, but um, if I wanted to airplay or stream a video from Swank, I need to make sure I'm in Safari that will not work in Chrome. And I'm gonna click on the waffle and I'm gonna go ahead and pull down to uh, Swank Digital Campus and click on it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and log into my Google account. And this will show me Swank's K-12 license that we have in our district. So this is what Swank looks like. Any video in here, I am allowed to play in my classroom. I just need to make sure I have a legitimate copy of that video in order to be able to play. So if the video shows up in here and I have that video on DVD, then I have permission to be able to play it because we have a Swank license that we pay for that gives us that ability. Now, Swank also has the ability to play some videos through Swank using the Swank streaming service uh, that is built into it. So the way Swank works is I'm gonna start off by simply searching for a title that I'm looking for. So let's say I'm looking for the movie Inside Out by Pixar. When I search for it, it's gonna show me all of the things that show up. And if I click on it, it shows me that number one, this movie is PG. I need to make sure the movie matches my grade level. So I'm in a middle school, PG movies are okay for my middle school, um, as long as that PG movie is a recent rated PG movie. So for example, here is a video called The Bad News Bears from 1976. It is rated PG, uh, but if you were to look up or actually preview this video, which I would highly recommend everyone do before watching in the classroom, uh, that video actually has cursing, it has a bunch of derogatory language, because PG-13, which this movie would probably now be rated, did not exist in 1976. So just because it's a PG movie does not mean it's allowed in the classroom. Now, you'll notice I have a button here that says watch. I also have a button that says share. What that means is uh, this video is ready and in Swank that I can play. So in this case, if I wanted to play this video, all I have to do is hit the watch button, and this will start playing it on my laptop. Now, I'm gonna pause it because I don't wanna play this video in here and get flagged on YouTube for copyrighted video. But you'll notice there is an airplay button at the bottom of that window. All right, I don't wanna to go to my menu bar at the top of my computer and use that AirPlay icon. I wanna make sure I use this one instead. So if I click on this AirPlay icon, here's where I'm gonna choose which Apple TV I want it to go to. And then all I have to do is click play to start playing my video. So let's say I wanted to show the video Elf. If I search for Elf, I find the movie. I can click on it, it tells me it's PG, but you'll notice there's no watch button. Uh, what that means is this video is allowed to be played in the classroom, but I can't play it through uh, Swank because it's not processed and ready to stream in Swank. But if I want, I could request that that video be uh, shown. And so I would just simply enter my name, email address, where it would be viewed and give a good accurate description on how this is gonna be used, and this will get sent to the district for approval. Now, if the district approves it, then the next time I visit and access ELF, this request button will then say watch, and it'll be open for anyone in the district. So one last option is if I go back to Inside Out, 
you'll notice there is also a share option here. You may have a video that you want to provide to a student in Canvas. Uh, so if I go to share, I can tell it to copy an LMS link or learning management system like Canvas. What this is gonna do is this will copy a link to this video that I can then provide to a student via Canvas for them to be able to watch in there. Now, this is ideally designed for uh, small projects. Maybe you have a student who's absent, uh, who missed a, a bunch of time and you wanna get them caught up, or they missed a, a video that you were showing and you want them to be able to um, watch that video. It's not something you're typically gonna do with an entire class, uh, because then you would have 20 some odd kids all streaming a video at the same time, which would cause issues with our network. So let's say I search for a movie like Deadpool. Deadpool does not show up in Swank because it is not appropriate for K-12 streaming. Uh, because it doesn't show up in here, I need to determine whether or not A, this is something that's part of my curriculum, or B, is this something that there is a, um, it's an essential curricular part that needs to be used to be taught in my curriculum. If I'm not sure about that, I can check with my principal or my curriculum coordinator.